Say hello to YouTube Haggis. Right, what are we up to today? Haggis, come on, there we go. Today we've got a special guest, or a couple of special guests. No special. On uh, Zambo TV. We've got Lizette. Say hello. Hello. And we've got Tom, my mate from Edinburgh. How did you do? Right, now I spoke them? about this a few months ago on my YouTube channel. Tom was a car and bodywork guy. He installs kitchens and toilets. And he's built a camper van and he's done an absolutely amazing job on it. But he's done something I've never seen anybody else do in one of these campers. So it's a... How old is it, Tom? 2008. So it's a 2008 Series 2 Mercedes Sprinter. Mm -hmm. So that's a... P11. An NCV3. Now we'll show you the inside it first. Tom, see... Well, let's see if you pointed this stuff. Uh, yeah, we've got some seriously heavy metal in here, Tom. So, what's going on here? Right, so this is just a C section right. that I got an engineering shop to manufacture for me. And I've just drilled it and put in bearings for the pod to roll on. No, the way we've not shown them the pod yet, oh, Tom. This, the this is going to be the money shot, isn't it? <laughs> and they, these are just all wee covers. They're all a bit scabby now, they're needing done. It's four, right. four year old. Could so, you just push that a bit? Like oh. Now, you're ages with myself, you're handy with tools, you've got a background in automotive repairs and you do the kitchen work, so I'm, I'm going to ask you a dumb question. You did this yourself. I did. Aye, aye. It's bathrooms, by the way. No it's ba ba bathrooms. I do the odd kitchen, but they're off the odd. Now, have you got a <laughs> website or a couple what's, what's the name of your business, though? Uh, Serenity Bathrooms. Serenity, Serenity Bathrooms. And where are you based? Dalkeith, Edinburgh. Dalkeith in Edinburgh. So anybody that needs a bathroom fitted by a, <laughs> a master craft, uh, craftsman. You can uh, check me out on Free Index. On the T-Index, right. Serenity, Serenity free, Bathrooms. Free Index. The free Index. Now, I, I, I seriously told me earlier on, I've known my, heat, my, my hearing problems sorted out, so if I'm shouting or being a wee bit daft. And you did the same on that side as well. Oh, yeah. Right, so there's massive rollers. Should we show them the new Tom or keep it? Keep uh, it? I can pull the bed out now. Right, well, well, let's pull the bed out. Now that was no bother at all. What kind of size is it? That's a 1.4 by 1.9. This is a standard IKEA sofa bed. Right, so your fabrication skills are remarkable. I think it's called Lixil or something like that. Lixil? I think so. Yeah, I, I hate getting an Ikea, so do. <laughs> when I was working with the bands, I, I used to deny that there was an Ikea in Glasgow just because the length of time it took you to, to get out and about and do everything. Right, right. That is basically works like a rock and roll bed. Right. The frame's 65 quid. So they rock and roll beds cost a fortune, don't they? Ah, uh, but a grand, a decent one will cost you a grand. So there we go, absolute top tip. Tom managed to, what did you say, 65 pounds? 65 pounds, and if you make an arse of it, You've only lost £65. Whereas if you make an arse of the rock and roll bed, you're done a grand. So that's all very trick. Let's, let's go outside and show them what these metal... I did have this all motorised, working off a remote control. Is that right? When so I first did it, and then I kept disconnecting the remote control to do something, and pushed it in and out, and in and out, and then every time I did connected the remote control, I was, or the motor for the remote control, I realised it was taking longer to put it in and out than it did to do it manually. So, what, the motor, was, <laughs> was the motor getting burnt out? No, no. No, just the motor used to sit in here and it just worked a cable system. So And you, you devised all this yourself? Aye, aye. That's, that's, it, it looked trick, <laughs> but it was actually useless because it took 30 seconds to put the pod out. Right. Or 30 seconds to put it back in. Whereas it takes... 10 seconds to do it manually. Manually, so uh, you, if you were doing it again, you wouldn't bother putting out the, the motor. Right. So we've got a wee microwave oven here. Never gets used, that's getting turned into a cupboard now. Right, so there we go. Next top tip from a man. What, what, what's the longest you've spent? What's the longest time you've spent in the van top? We've been away two weeks. Two weeks. And every third day we go into a campsite just to use the facilities to get the tank in that. Empty. Yeah, you get empty the tank. Yeah, you've got sh shore power as well. Does the battery charge up automatic or is that just from the alternator? The, well, the battery will charge off a hookup right. or off the alternator. Off the alternator, right. So, you wouldn't put another microwave if you were doing it again? No. no. 
Is this a cooking area here? Outside. Right, Haggis. Come on, you're the star of the show today, son. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll, you'll get us a lot more viewers, so you will. Right. So, aye, these are just... Storage for cutlery. Storage. Right. Oh, see, they're standard IKEA units. Just... Now you said earlier on you, you bought and stripped a caravan, Tommy. Aye. Was that worth doing? What, what did you it take out the... worth doing from the point of view I got the windows. Right. The water heater and the toilet. I guess you've been a pain. Oh, so this is the cooking area over here. What yeah. kind of job this guy's done? This, this is unbelievable. So that's a wee gas hob. Right. The one thing I would say about that is that would have been better that way. Okay. Because with the time you put up, can just demonstrate that because of a pain in the ass. By the time you put a frying pan on there, you kind of get right. anything on there. Okay, so and you're you pretty can't orientated. Move that any further than okay. the wall. That makes it. You know what I mean? Now, just... in the van, you've got hot water as well. Hot water? So the hot water came from the caravan? Aye, Aye. Uh, it's a carver 10 litre. 10 litre carver tank. So that's been in there? In here. What, what is that? Gas is that? That's it's gas, aye. Uh, and electric. If, oh, you so were on, if you were on hookup, that'll uh, heat up on hookup. So when you get into the campsites, you can you run that off yeah. electricity. Hey, Haggis, he's another smile for the camera. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. That's, that's a cracking dug in. There's a cracking dug. Right, so we've got the water heater down here. That's gas or electric. Yep. That came out the caravan? Yes. Aye, right. And what, what's the manufacturer again, Tom? Carver. Carver, okay. And you would give that a thumbs up, that's been good for you? Aye. The thing is, nowadays you can get a... Uh, what's that, a trauma? Aye, they're real expensive, they're yes, 1500 a grand, quid. 1500 quid. Aye. Aye. Um, How much do you think they were? You know, you get them on the internet for about 100, 120 pounds. So there, there's some amazing advice already. The rock and roll bed, save yourself a fortune, buy the bits from Ikea. Aye. Tom's used IKEA. Uh, this is all IKEA. It's all, 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 all IKEA. But remember, Tom is very, very handy. He's obviously a very skilled craft. <laughs> I'm uh, not sure. If you're not sure about that, no. <laughs> no. Right, so let's move a bit further down. Right. And we'll show right. the audience. So, oh. Forgive this, Tom's Tom's quadgy. This is my litter picking stuff. We do. Any camper van owner, go litter picking. Best thing you can do. Scotland's a beautiful Scotland country. Tidy. Aye, Scotland's a beautiful country and some people just don't cherish it the way Aye. we do. So again, oh you've got a shower in there. Right. And that's Duck. tied into the That's into the carver. Into the carver here. So, oh, so, I, I, so d d d d d does the hand basin flip up? Aye. 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 That's just the standard sort of the caravan. Did that come for the caravan thing as well? This is a caravan, aye. Who the caravan? Well you got your money's worth for that caravan, eh? I think so. Aye. And uh, the uh, we toilet down here, right. so. so it's just your standard. What do you call them? Uh, Fetford. Standard Fetford. They scared Marshall or anything. Uh, they, 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 right now, I think it. And the shower, that's just a standard domestic uh, bar mixer. Alright. So again, you do that for a living, and that, right. that's a no brainer. You get stuff like that, that's sort of 60 or 70 quid. If you were using a caravan one, you're maybe talking me two, three hundred pounds. So the aftermarket yeah. accessories for campers and caravans, you would say... The, are, the, are a rip-off. Right? They're a rip-off. <laughs> the idea and with that rock and roll bed, Tom, not, not a lot of people follow my channel, but that, 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 that's just fantastic. 75 bangers as opposed to hundreds of pounds. Aye. Right, so we did the front, we said a lot of was it, we said a lot of haggis had dug. Now we're going to, this is the money shop, right, haggis. Come on, son. Right, alright, what you got? This is interesting, but now... The van's are, what is that, 2008? 2008. Tom worked in vehicle repairs and body work as well. He's totally re-sprayed the van. Honestly, it looks as if it's straight out of the factory. He's did some job in it. Right. This was done in my driveway, by the way. You painted that in your driveway? Aye. Oh. Well, that, 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 that's good for guys... It doesn't get into my workshop. That's good for guys like me well, to know that... saying that, all the doors come off, the wings come off, the bonnet, the mirrors, all the plastics, everything that could come off came, came off. off. So you stripped it right up. 
Right, now Haggis is and a then, to run over with Mr. DBD delivery guy. And that, that's going to make this the worst video that I've ever put on YouTube and we're pushed. Right, so here's the money shot here. So all, 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 all the rollers inside and that big heavy metal is for this. Right, Tom. Right, so I've just the added this wee canopy because occasionally if the wind gets up, it can blow the rain in to the van. It's only happened two or three times in three or four years. But Scotland's is just, a wet country. Aye, so that's, that's just a wee bit of extra protection. So I, I don't know, but I've never seen anybody else do that. Tom fabricated the lot of it himself. Uh, I'll just pull it back I think that's a remarkable idea. And you know what, Tom? I'll take it a bit further. I, I, I'm going to say that if you put that on the market, people would buy it. I've been offered good money for it. Aye, aye. <laughs> I've never. Where did you get the idea from? Uh, a company called Danbury used to do a T4 double back. It was called. And that was a, a pull out situation? Yes. Yeah. And it was uh, automatic. So that was electrically operated? It was electrically operated, but the problem was the way they did it, it didn't actually give you any more space. Sounds daft, but that's why it did the sell. It was 20 grand. 20,000 pounds? Just for that conversion. So what is that a galvanised plate or is that aluminium? That's aluminium. And was it a riveted situation? No, it's just a bonded, it's bonded with uh, polyester. Right. You know, like Tiger Seal. Aye, aye, aye. 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 And it, it, it stayed together great. Look at the condition of that van. And the hookups are outside, Tom. Yep. Got, is that power at the back? Uh, right, aye, so that's my 240 hook up there. This is your standard right. water tank. Fresh water. Fresh. How did you learn about this stuff? Do the, the, the DVLA tell you what you no, need to do? No. no, 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 you just have to do <laughs> things like this. You're sort of positioning the fridge on the inside and try to gauge where to measure to. So you have to try and find reference points. Now, did you get the graph with. paper out, AutoCADs, or did you just... Tape measure. Tape measure? Mask, mask and tape and tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this we think here? That's the exhaust for the burner for the fridge. Oh, so how do you heat it? I never that, asked that. That can work off a three... It's a three-way fridge. Right. So it's a 12 volt off the battery when you're driving. Right. It's got the gas when you're on site. And it's got a 240 hookup as well. Right. Best things in sliced bread. Best things in sliced bread. Who's uh, the manufacturer on that, Tom? Oh, Can you remember? I would have to check it. I'd have to check it. it. Right. What we'll do is I'll get Tom to text me. Quite, quite common. I'll get Tom to text me who manufactured it because aye. what I like to do is give people honest reviews, Tom. So if you think that thing's worked and it's worth the money, we'll aye. stick it on the channel and say this is a good product. There's bit modern uh, variations of this now. Aye. You know, you do 12 volt ones that. Uh, then it's your battery, if you know what I mean. Right. But they tend to be. Now you've uh, not got solar. We spoke about that before, didn't you? Aye, no solar. I've just never seen the need for it, and I've no needed it. I've never needed it. So, so that that might be another top tip. Don't be paranoid about a laser battery getting charged off. I don't want that, 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 that could work it for you. Aye. If you, I think if you're going to be static in one place um, for, for a long three time, days or something Aye. like that. But we 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 can go down to, quite often. We'll go down to the beach near Torness Power Station. Okay. And we'll park up the van for two days, three nights, and the leisure battery's still working, even in the middle of winter. The so you're away in the winter wait, as well, Tom? Aye, we're away nearly every weekend. Oh, amazing. You, you, you've had, you, you've had, it's been a great thing you've had your Aye. money's worth. This life, one here? Life changing, by the way. Life changing? Aye. Well, it's going to spur me on to get my finger up my backside with my own project. <laughs> I've, so, yeah, I've had so much to do. So, so this thing here is a... That's the Carver water heater. Water heater, we've seen that inside. That's for yeah. powering the hot water and the shower. Yeah. And that's the cassette from the toilet. For the top. Now again, 13 year old. How, how many miles are on it, Tom? 140,000. 140,000. And mechanically, has it been good to you? Once I got it sorted out. Once you got it sorted right. out. Tom, before we started uh, filming, filled us in with it. He got the van at a good price, but there was a few mechanical problems. He had to get the turbocharger redone and replace the injectors. Right. Injectors are great fun in these days. I put a new clutch in it just because I could. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I recently had an ejector nightmare with, with my own van. Uh, honestly, they, they, they scared the living pants out me. I'll try to get the registration number at it. So, Tom Fidel Keith smashed it and got it done. If it, from start to finish, 
How much time did you have in the conversion? I reckon it's taken us nearly four months. Four months. Uh, and how long have you had the van? Uh, this is its fourth year now. So, so three and a half years. You forgot about the four months because the amount of travel you've had it. Aye. What's the furthest you've been? Um, been north of Liverpool, the way up that way. Is that right? Do you ever go south? Have you ever been into Europe? Uh, we could, no, no, I've never been abroad now. No. But, uh, down to Yorkshire we go. Yorkshire's beautiful as well, isn't it? Uh, pub food. Best place in Scotland. <laughs> I was going to say the best place in Scotland. The Yorkshire folk want to be Scottish anyway. Okay, there, there's a tie between the North of England and Scots, so there it was. We were industrial maritime people who lost everything in the 1980s and 90s, were Right, so I think I, I think that idea with the pod is remarkable. No. Tom is a really skilled guy, however, it shows you if you get off your backside and go out and try <laughs> and do it, you too could have something. My looks. original idea, I don't know if you remember, the you used to have wee Daihatsu or Suzuki uh, vans. Right, they were tiny wee things. Tiny wee things. My idea was just to take the back airs off of one of them. And, and use that as an insert? Yeah, that was my original idea. And what an idea that was. And then I measured up the back end of a T4. And, the, and I would put a T4 in it. Why, why did you go for a Sprinter? Yeah, because I couldn't get a Volkswagen. Is that right? I have got a crafter for my work. Right. And I thought, I'll get a crafter for a camper van. And I'm a Volkswagen guy all my days. I've built custom Volkswagen Golfs, Volkswagen everything. I would not buy a crafter to do this. What, what, the what? engine in this thing cools far, far better than a Volkswagen. My issue with Volkswagens, I had LT35s before I got the T1Ns down yep. the road and uh, I, I, I whacked two cylinder heads with timing belts. Oh, aye. 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 At that point I thought to myself, aye. I want a chain driven engine and I, 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 I must admit I really enjoyed the, 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 the sprinters. At, at lower revs you can feel the torque in this engine. Oh aye, aye, aye. And the 2.5 crafter... You're you, changing gear? You, aye, you're forcing the engine, you're getting the revs up before you feel as though you've got a wee bit of torque. So you're always chasing the gears, whereas this thing is just a far more drivable engine. I, I think rust and the, the problem with the injectors is the, is the weak, 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 points. Weak, weak points. But again, you've you been a car body guy. The crafter's where, where the same motor. The so, sorry, wh I'm saying the crafter's the same motor, it's just a different engine. Different engine, aye. Yeah. When, when did you do the paint job? That was September last year. September last year. Aye. Right, so Tom's amazing at this anyway, but we, we, uh, in all honesty, you never know how good your paint job is until you're a year or two down the line, but I can't see a mark in the thing anyway. Tom, thank you for driving no through from Dalkeith. Shake a hand, make a friend, <laughs> and you can say bye-bye to YouTube. Right, bye-bye now. Right.